What is going on everybody? So it's been like two weeks since I posted anything. I apologize, I've been super busy. And I actually made a video like a week ago, but I forgot to post it or didn't post it because I forgot to say stuff in it that I wanted to say. And so I didn't post it. So I'm making one now to make up for the last two weeks. But there's been a lot going on first, like a week ago. Um, I was on vacation, I went to California with the family, we went to Knott's Berry Farm. It's awesome. That's why you didn't see me posting like last week. I was in California doing the whole family thing, doing the Knott's Berry Farm thing. We went for two days. That was really cool. Um, but I got kind of a lot I want to talk about right now. But I'm going to make this one kind of short. It is like almost 10 o'clock at night. And I am tired. If you hear a child in the background, it's because we're trying to put him to sleep. And he is not having it. I'm sure you guys that have kids, you know all about that. Um, first thing I want to talk about is... I don't really like to pay attention to days or try and count days or focus too much on my days because there's just a lot of issues with that. And I think I've talked about it in other videos and if I have it, I'll talk about it a little bit right now. Um, people get too caught up in paying attention to how many days they've been sober or how long they've been sober. And if they have any type of hiccup or if they have any type of relapse or anything, they're like, well, I was sober for three years. I got my keys in my hand. I don't know what I'm doing. I was sober for like three years and then I got drunk one day and it's just a this downward spiral, you know, that these people just go out of control because they focus so much on how much time they had that when they have a hiccup, instead of just fixing the problem, instead of just moving on, they're just, they just, it just spirals out of control because they're just paying attention to how much time that they have clean. So I try not to, but I did set, I do set um, like mile markers for myself. Uh, first one was 30 days, second one was 90 days, I'm well past that stuff. Um, next milestone for me was six months. Uh, I'm at like six months and seven days right now. So I've officially passed my six month mark. I'm actually really excited about this one. And when I say six months of sobriety for me, um, before, I, I've been six months clean off of heroin before, but I've never, not since I was like 17 years old, have I been six months sober, completely sober. <laughs> um, never. Like, so when I say I have six months of sobriety right now, I don't drink, I don't smoke weed, I don't do anything. I don't do any type of drugs, I don't I don't do anything, you know? There's stuff like marijuana, I don't think that's a big deal and stuff like that. I just personally don't do it myself. Um, so when I say six months clean, that is six months completely clean, nothing. So I don't even have a beer, I haven't. And so that's why I'm really excited about that one. Um, second thing I wanna talk about is so today i officially got my license so fight for recovery arizona is officially a business i have a business license all my shirt sales and everything else my website which i'll talk about in a second is all completely legal i'm doing all the tax part of it everything like that i'm doing it all correct i'm all doing it by the laws by arizona standards i'm doing everything correct so not only am i a former heroin addict that is now a business owner but all my operations are completely legal. So if anybody is wondering or just, you know, I wanted to be a business owner, so I was really excited about doing that part, but also I just wanted to cover my ass too um, since I do make a profit off of my shirts and things like that. Even though right now the money just goes right back into making more shirts or doing some sort of something recovery-based is what I use the money for. I don't personally use it myself. Um, but in the future, I would like to get to the point where I do make a profit off of it and I am able to supplement some of that income a little bit to where I don't have to work so much so that way I can go do a couple of different events or I'm able to travel a little bit more because I don't have that full-time job holding me back, um, per se. I mean, full-time job is something that I have by choice, so I mean, it's not like it's necessarily holding me back, but you guys know what I mean. It's just, I would like to be able to make money so that way I could travel more, that way I can do more events, that way I can promote Fight for Recovery a little bit more, that way I can go around and speak a little bit more, that way I can just do a lot of different things that are more recovery based rather than what I'm doing now. Um, so over six months clean now, a little bit over six months clean, business license, and over the weekend I did build an actual website. So www.fight4, with the number four, recoveryaz.com is my website you can go on there to purchase my shirts um, I have more designs coming out new shirts coming out um, it'll just it'll be a slow process um, hopefully here in the next couple of weeks I'll have my next shirt which is just gonna say sober AF really big on it 
Um, I'm really excited about getting that one. I just talked to the guy that does my shirts a couple days ago. We're getting that rolling. He's going to send me a few different designs. I'll pick one, put it in an order, pay for it, and it'll take a couple weeks for me to get the shirts in. But you'll see them up on the website. And for anybody that's been on the website and has already seen it, if you see that your sizes are not on there, they have been ordered. I'm trying to just keep all the sizes in stock. So if it says out of stock, just keep checking back in a couple weeks. They should be there. Um, so yeah, officially a business. Um, officially now a business owner. Over six months clean. Website has been built today. Um, I almost forgot about this. I'm talking to Michaela, who's <laughs> I keep looking at her, so that's what I'm looking at. Um, she's sitting over here. Um, today, I got an email from Linda, the marketing director for Southwest. She said, look, your uh, article about you has been posted. So today, in the Kingman newspaper, um, there is a big article about me in their newspaper. Um, I did share it on my Instagram. If you guys have Instagram, follow me, Fight for Recovery AZ. You can see the article on there. It's just a big, it was a whole, pretty much a story of my life and how I'm the owner of Fight for Recovery now and things like that. I got posted in the newspaper. Hopefully, it'll get posted in Havasu, my hometown. That'd be really cool, especially because everybody knows me here or a lot of people know me here, so that'd be really cool. Um, if not, either way, I'm still really excited to hit. I, I got an article about me in newspapers. So that's something to be pretty freaking excited about. Like, I, I, I can't even express how excited I am right now that I'm able to, and you guys can do the same thing that I'm doing. You guys can take your recovery and take it to the level that I'm taking mine. I'm able to take something that is such like a terrible story and such hardship and something that is killing people and something that is so rough and I'm able to make something good of it. I'm able to find the positive in it. I'm able to reach out and try and help other people. I'm able to inspire people and show other people that it, the stigmas and that's what I, that's really what I wanted to focus on today or make sure to talk about today. That's what I didn't talk about in the last video I didn't post. There's so much stigma around being an addict. If I told some, if I just go up and tell people that I'm a heroin addict, it's just like the reaction I get from people and it's always going to be this way, I think, you know, but I'm working, doing everything I can to, um, sorry, I got a text message. What the hell? Jacob Matthew. That was my little brother. Um, so what I was saying is there's this stigma around people that were heroin addicts or addicts and stuff like that period and that will pretty much from the community that's never got high or never struggled with addiction, they don't understand our addiction fully and they don't, you know, think that we'll ever amount to anything or that we'll ever be anything and, you know, we're just these worthless addicts and we're not good people and things like that. Well, I'm showing you by showing my life story and by what I'm doing now that we're not all bad people and we can accomplish things. We can do whatever it is that we want to do. Um, I was a heroin addict seven months ago and now I'm a business owner. And so it doesn't matter what people say or think about your drug of choice or what you've done in the past. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want in this lifetime. So don't let those stigmas get to you or bother you. Um, I'm not trying to like glow about it or like be cocky, but I kind of am at the same time. Like it's kind of like a, it's just showing like the community like, yeah, I was an addict and yeah, I did struggle, but guess what? Now I'm a business owner. Now I'm going around trying to help people. I'm doing everything I can on that side of things. Um, I will continue to try and help people that are still struggling with addiction. I do not look down upon you guys. Do not think that. I don't think I'm better than you guys by any means. I am still the same as you guys. I'm still an addict. I'm still one at heart and I will always be one. Uh, it's just either I'm getting higher or I'm in recovery. That's the way this works. So right now I just happen to be in recovery. But you guys can do the same thing. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. You guys can accomplish the same things I'm accomplishing. You just have to put forth those efforts and you just have to put in a lot of work. Like I don't, I don't ever stop. Like I probably make Michaela mad sometimes because I'm always on my phone messing with something with like the business or like I'm always doing something as far as promoting or recovery related. If not, then I'm at work and it's just, I don't stop ever. It's almost 11 o'clock at night right now and I'm filming videos. <laughs> uh, so I just I don't stop but that's just the the work that you have to put in to to be able to succeed you have to we have to work harder I brought it up in group today us as former addicts have to work harder to accomplish things and to get somewhere in life than someone that never struggled with addiction why because we're felons most of us we have some sort of backgrounds we 
just think differently. We have different mindsets, so we have to work much harder to get places, but it's possible. And that's a lot of the reason why I do this YouTube channel and everything to show you guys that it is possible. So I think that's about all I got. Six months of sobriety. Fight for Recovery is now officially a business. Um, I'll be getting my business license in the mail. I'll be posting that on my Instagram so everybody can see that I am doing everything legally. My website, go on there, buy one of my shirts. It's www.fightforrecoveryaz.com. Um, real quick on that too. Yes, this is my logo, but when you are walking around wearing a shirt that says Fight for Recovery, and it's recovery, we're raising awareness. People are going to start asking what it's about. People will want to know like what, why it is that you're wearing that shirt, and then you can explain to them why it is that you are personally wearing it. Um, so it is not just my logo that I'm selling my t-shirt. I am. I want everybody in town to be walking around with shirts to say recovery on it, and so that way, I don't know, just to raise that awareness, really. I want... I want it to be known that we're in this community. We're trying to help people. We're doing everything that we can. Not everything we can. We can do a lot more. I take that back. But mm -hmm. I'm working on it. Slowly but surely, I will get there. I'll be able to do a lot more here in the future. But one day at a time. Um, so, yeah. My website's up. Instagram, follow me. Fight for Recovery AZ. If you guys need anything, fight for Recovery AZ at Gmail. I think that's all I got. Laters.